this some good tea what it do youtube back today with another video man you already know who it is man you go ahead and call me price and i'm back today to give y'all this story time that i just recently experienced as you can see from the title i kind of got catfish i got hair fished that's what we're going to call it. we're going to call it hair fish i got a hair fish so i shall explain My bad. It all started with, I met this girl on Tinder. She was a batch and everything. You know, I'm on her Tinder, whatever. She looking cute, everything. So, slide her messages. She ended up giving me her number. We ended up start texting and everything for a few days, you know? So, we, let me see. Oh, no. Okay. So, we texting. Chilling, kicking it, you know, people that be hanging out, you know, everything people hang out with, people hang out what they do, and all that, blah blah blah. Woo, woo, woo. So, I've seen her on Facebook a couple times, and you know, when you ain't got Wi Fi, so well, one person ain't got Wi Fi, and the connection kind of blurry, so but she was still cute. So, we end up setting up a day so we can end up meeting up. So I end up seeing her one day. She pulled up with her friend and came over here smoke. We smoke. Okay, I'm sitting behind him. I barely can see her, but I'm a kick ass nigga. I like to play in hair. So she was sitting in front of me. I'm in the back seat. You know me. I'm in the back. Of this. Playing all in her ear. Now, let me point this out to y'all. On Tinder and her profile pictures and all that stuff. Facebook, all that shit. She's cold. Like, cold. I was like, okay. But in person, she cute. But, um, so she had this natural thing going on i'm not knocking the natural i love the natural because i prefer that over weave but um she had this little natural thing going on so a little curly puff ball brillo pad cement whatever you want to call it it was just sitting on top of her head so touching it and the texture is just like i'm liable to get a paper cut from it or some shit but i ain't tripping so we, we, we talking, we smoking, whatever, whatever, days go by, whatever, whoa, 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 end up seeing each other again, we hang out for the first time, we hang out, we go to Dave and Busters, I fucks with Dave and Busters, Dave and Busters is lit, what the fuck is my lighter at, Dave and Busters is lit, so, we go there, have some fun, play some games, whatever, whatever, I'm a cake, I'm feeling her at the time too. So, walking around holding hands and everything. But her hair, her hair, the only thing I'm not really feeling is her hair. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, mind you, before I even met up with her, you see how my hair is now, you know? It's, it's a little, you see the little way it's just, just a little bit. Just. See, my hair looking a little decent right now, but. I was looking pretty rough. I needed a shave and everything, you know. And a nigga had to get a shave and haircut before I met up with her. Before I met up with her, she was talking all this shit. Talking about like, need your haircut before you see me. Need your haircut and this and this now. I'm like, alright, she calling me a dirt ball and shit. I'm low-key kind of getting offended. I'm like, this bitch really know me and she call me a fucking dirt ball. But I ain't letting it get to me because I'm like, alright, whatever, whatever. So I go get my hair cut. I'm looking very presentable. Got the little button up collar polo shirt, you know. Got the the fuck whatever jeans I had on. The bitches was crispy. Looking very, very, very swagged out, you know. Looking very gentleman like you know, just just swagged out. I'm looking decent. And I go see her, it's like the fuck you got on. And it's not that bad. Okay. Everything else intact. Her hair. 
thought we was going on a date. We in Dave and Buster's, walking around, I'm holding her hand like, yeah, you know that motherfuckers know, yeah, that's so why I fuck you with, you know, you know, type of nigga that I am by holding her hand. I have no problem with it, but my thing is, I'm wondering like, are people staring at the top of her head as much as I am? Cause I'm like, it's like a mini bush up there. Like, it's really just a puff ball. And I ain't, I don't really like the hairstyle. So I'm not trying to be rude over the time and say anything to her about it. And I ain't want to say it in no rude way. Cause I feel like she probably would have felt I came off the wrong way. Not saying nothing. See her the next day after that. Her hair is still the same. I'm still crispy and all. But I'm just like, why the fuck she ain't never do her hair? So, I had to throw some shots and start calling her ass a dirty cutie. Cause that's what the top of her head look like, cause her hair brown, so it look like a dirty, it look like a dirty Q-tip. Okay, go outside, take a Q-tip right now. Go outside and scrub that bitch against the concrete and scrub it in some mud. And then look at the top of her head. So, I'm like, all right, well, I'm a dirt ball. Man, you a fucking dirty Q-tip. She laughed. You think this is a joke? I'm... No, I'm not joking. Fuck, I gotta relight like this bitch. I'm talking too much. Yeah, I seen this one picture of you with that uh, one braid. She she stopped me real quick. To my... It's not a braid. It's a... Uh... The fuck is that shit? Not a halo, but it's a... I forgot whatever she said. Some braid that just went across whatever. But to my, it's not a braid. La la la. Woo woo woo. So I'm like, yeah, I like that. Whatever. Trying to convince her to wear that hairstyle. Whatever. Whatever. So one day, made a Facebook post. Randomly was like, let's go to Cedar Point. Somebody, let's go to Cedar Point. Who are to go? She ended up hitting me up. To my, she wanted to go. So. Me, her, and my sister end up making plans, and we all about to go to Cedar Point. This is probably like a week or, it don't matter how long later it was, it was enough time for her to do her damn hair. I'm like, all right, me and my sister, we go, go, we go, go get you, we go, go to Cedar Point, well, la, la, la. So, go there. She comes outside with that braid, but it's not like the braid that she sent me in the video. The braid is nappy. It's like she just took her hair off that puff and just braided it up instead of trying to straighten her shit and all this other shit she could have did to make it look better. She was looking like a little black girl from Matilda, I think. She looked like lavender. That's what she looked like. I'm like, cause I'm driving. Just kept staring at her head, looking in the rear view like, never do her damn hair but she wanted me to take her serious and she wanted to call me a dirt boy i know some of y'all probably like some but don't matter she probably was a good person and all that la 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 yeah that's true and all she was cool whatever but i just wasn't feeling it i couldn't do it she's sending me these pictures of her with all these different hairstyles all cleaned up looking real good and i'm getting a motherfucking i just woke up type of look not even type of look, type of hair. I got crispy for what? Man, I'm over here looking good and shit. You looking mediocre. Like, dog, I need a girl where I can present you to people and won't feel ashamed about it. I want to be able to be like, damn, babe, you look good as fuck. That's how I want to be. I don't want to have to be worried like, what's that shit on your head, bro? That's the shit you got from the kitchen when you was washing the dishes with last night? That dirty ass Brillo pack? Cause that's what the fuck it looked like. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm sorry if I sound mean, but I'm just being honest. And you can't tell, call a nigga out his name and talk about his features and he ain't got a haircut. Well, you ain't doing shit to your hair. And now I know this kind of off subject, but it kind of goes in with the catfish, with the hairfish. Her videos, her skin look this so smooth and shit. She look like a sexy ass Reese chocolate brown. I'm like, oh, man, I see her, man. She got her uneven ass makeup and shit. I'm like, man, don't look nothing like it. The makeup looked like she was always sweating, like she was kind of 
greasy. Besides that, she was a cool person and everything, but I just couldn't fuck with her. I wasn't feeling no connection. And the simple fact, I did meet her off Tinder, so it wasn't that hard to let her go because I don't barely even know her. But she was feeling me, and she got mad at me. And I had to let her know, like, look, my baby. Next time you decide to fuck with somebody and you decide to talk about their hair or whatever, you need to check your own. Natural look is cool and all, but that ain't look natural. Motherfucking. Yeah, man, so that's my little story on how I got motherfucking hair fish because in her videos and pictures that she was sending me, girl was cold. Hair was laid every single uh, nice ass braid the way she was dressing in reality I wasn't the dirt ball she was the dirt ball she was all slayed out and everything in her videos but in reality for me bro she wasn't even doing it and I'm just looking like I can kind of see where that's gonna go and how it is gonna be in the future nah if you can't your first impression if you can't come correct with your first impression that is said a lot right then and there, so that's just a word of advice for anybody. Your first impression says a lot. It really does. But all right, y'all, man, I'm back. Oh, shit. I fucked up. But all right, y'all, man, that's the end of my little story. Comment below. Let me know if y'all how y'all like this story or whatever. Comment if y'all want to hear some other stories. Ask me some questions, what type of stories I got, because I think I might start doing story time a little relevant. Ooh, I said a little relevant. A little bit more, because a nigga got a lot of stories. I have a real interest in life, man. If you personally know me, you know I'm not lying. But, um, yeah, man, go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to my page. Let everybody know. Call me Price. Tell them don't call me shit else. Call me Price. And go ahead and um spread the word, man. Oh, yeah. Smoke weed every day.